Welcome to the Need for Excel YouTube channel lesson 14. In this video, I'm going to teach you how to build a basic user form, have the data from that particular user form update in this particular table, and based on this particular table, I'm going to show you how to do further analysis on this pivot table. So, let's go to the developer tab and select Visual Basic to go to the Visual Basic editor. Then insert a user form. The first step is to name this user form something relevant. So I'm going to name this UF data. Hit enter. Then you can also change the caption to whatever you wish. So I'll name this data entry. Now, before we start building the user form, I want you to visualize how the user form should look. So we need four labels and four boxes where the uh, user will input the data and then a small submit button to submit the data which is on the user form. So from the toolbox I'll select label. I need four of these. Then I need four text boxes in front of this. All right. So now that I have my text boxes, select the first text box and change the name. So I'll name it TV name. Then the second one is going to be TB OCC for occupation. The third one is going to be country. So I'll name this TB country. And the fourth one as TB salary. All right. Then I can just change the captions name so that the user sh uh, should understand that what entries to be done in this particular uh, text box. Next one is occupation. Then it's country. And then salary. Alright. Then the last step is to have a small command button to submit the data from the user form. So I'll change the name to CB submit as command button submit. And then I'll also change the caption something relevant. Now let's review the user form. So this is how the user form is going to look. And once the data is filled in these particular fields and the user clicks on submit the data should populate this particular table all right so we'll have to have a piece of code on a submit command button to trigger uh, the further procedure so i'm going to double click on this command button I i'm not going to waste time in writing down the code I'll just pause the video and I'll paste the code and then I'll explain it to you line by line. Alright, so this is the piece of code that is going to do the magic. So I've started by dimming the uh, variables that will be used in this particular procedure. The first one is LR. LR stands for last row. I've dimmed it as integer. Then master as worksheet. Master is this worksheet. Then I've set master equals this workbook dot worksheets master. So whenever I refer it as master, it'll have this line of code stored in it. So this line will help us find out the last utilized row because the data entry will happen on the next row. So LR equals master dot cells rows dot count. This will count all the rows available on a sheet that is one million or something. And then 
uh, it'll go to the end, come back again and find out the last row that is utilized. Now you can see that I'm using the tables feature. The only problem with this uh, method is one, the next line, uh, see the first one is the header row and the next line is automatically there. You cannot delete this line. So even though this isn't used, this line will show that the uh, last utilized row is row number two. However, in this case, the last utilized row is row number one. That is why I've got these, these lines of code to overcome this problem. So if LR has the value of two and cells LR that is two, column number A, which means cell A2 is null, which in this case is true, then LR will have the value of LR. It means 2 will have the value of 2. Else, LR will have the value of 2 plus 1. Uh, assume you actually have some data on this row, row number 2. Then the LR will again have the value of 2, but this particular argument will be false. So this line of code will not be executed and directly the else statement will be executed. All right. And once we determine the value of LR, that value will be in these lines and these are the name of the text boxes on the user form. So whatever value is there on the text box name, that will be pasted on this particular range and this will happen to all four text boxes and once the data entry is done then this line will refresh the pivot table so that the latest changes can be updated on the pivot table automatically and then these four lines will clear the text boxes and then this one will hide the user form then I'm, I'm again going to go to the uh, insert tab and insert a module and name it sub show user form and the only line of code is going to be uf data that is the name of a user form dot show alright so now that the coding part is done I'll insert a small shape pop the user form up and name it update data and reduce the size all right i'll right click on this button and assign show user form so every time you click on this button the user form will pop up all right let's try entering some data name is the way occupation is job country, India, and salary, something. And I'll click on submit. As soon as I click on submit, the data automatically gets entered on this uh, particular table and the pivot table automatically refreshes itself. Then I'll try the second entry. Some name, Bob Marley. Occupation, business, country, USA. Salary again something update. Similarly, the data is entered on the next line and the pivot table refreshes. Let's try it one more time. Name is Kirk Hammett. Occupation is again business, country USA, and salary something. Let's click on submit. The data is entered and the pivot table automatically refreshes to have the sum of these two values. Have fun with user forms. I hope my video helped. Thank you.